Hey everybody, welcome uh, back to our channel. Uh, this hopefully will be my last video on solar until we get to our land uh, in uh, the Amazon region of Peru and we start building uh, or, or start living there anyways. Um, this uh, this is just a show because I saw some people commenting before on on the Martin Johnson uh, uh, video on his inter on his um, solar that you can't afford to do it. He does have an expensive system. I agree. Uh, I can't afford what he has on there. Um, it takes a lot of money to do that. This is a very simple system, and yet it still powers two bedroom house with everything in it okay uh the only thing it can't power is our, sh our our electrical showers because they use those electrical shower heads and they run about five thousand watts so it might my inverters a three thousand watt inverter can't do that so we are we'll be changing that to gas which you'll follow along in the video here i'll tell you about that but follow this check out the prices down below on what you could do what do you need to run solar in your in your house or in your off-grid cabin, whatever you whatever you have, whatever you're doing. And you, it can be done, and it can be done affordably. You can live off of it. Uh, granted, you need sunshine. So if you live someplace in the north where, or in the very, very, very south, I live in Peru, where we get sunshine a lot, so it makes it more affordable, easier for us to do it. But it is available. If you can do it, you, you if you have sunshine, you can do this. So check us out please like subscribe and and comment let me know what what i can do better let me know what we got uh what what ideas you have uh remember i'm in peru there's not a lot of things that are available that are available in the states yes amazon does ship but it costs a whole lot more to get it down here and to uh and pay pay taxes on it to come into into peru they're very heavily taxed here um, I do find some things and I, I work with what I can find. So please let me know and uh, like, subscribe, please. And uh, oh, watch out, we got some uh, products coming out. So because we gotta take care of our dogs. Come on guys, I got 12 dogs in my house. Yes, and they're a mess right now. Where are they? Where are these guys? Oh, there is one right over there. There is a couple over here. Hey, there's Ghost. What's up, Ghost Boy? So. So help us, uh, follow along, uh, check out our website and uh, I'll see you guys at, at the end and we'll talk more about the, the solar system, okay? N not that solar system, this solar system here. I'll see you in a few. Check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's pregnant. Paycheck, rat race, what's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond. I think I'm going Trying to save your time In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list Girl, you can skip this So you might be asking yourself, what's going on today? Well, we're going to change out the MPPT solar uh, char charger And 1000 watt inverter that I had uh, And we're going with my uh, new Inverter charger 
3000 watt, 24 volt uh, inverted charger and off and on grid, so I can hook up my generator to it also in case of uh, emergencies, in case we don't have sun for a few days, whatever it is. So we're going to be installing this today. So uh, I'm going to take this apart and uh, I'll be back with you in a few minutes. And there we have it. We're disconnected right now. So that's gonna go back in the box. Now, this is not getting wasted. This is gonna be used in the second house. Uh, there's, remember, we're building two houses. So it's gonna be used at the second house with a new uh, inverter, with a higher uh, 3000 watt inverter also. But we're gonna use this. So I'm gonna clean it up, dust it off. like new and in the box so today we're unboxing this must brand 100% sine wave solar inverter this is a 3000 watt 24 volt um, on grid off grid inverter so about the city line and the crazy nights figure I should probably give it a try Baby, check it out, see what it's all about But the traffic was fast and the money was slow The people I met you never get to know I kind of miss this place I used to So now, all we have left to hook up is the battery connection So, everything's tight and DC negative, and DC positive. So, make sure these are open all the way. Try to change your mind, trying to save your time. In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list, girl, you can skip this funny business. Cause up there it's complicated and overrated. Down here everything is understated. That's alright by me. I got everything that Connector. I need to put a new connector on upstairs. We got this power off right now. Crazy nights, I figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out. All right, so we changed connectors upstairs. Let's see what we've got coming in. Let's see what we 
good. Six 100 amp hour batteries, 3,000 watt uh, inverter, 24 volt inverter. We're running We're getting 81 volts from the sun right now. Of course it's my, my, my panels are dirty. I got to clean them. Uh, output out of them is 28.4 or 28.8 going into the batteries batteries are 229.1 so we're running about a little over 25 percent capacity of the inverter And this is where we're at right now as we start 2.3 kilowatt hours. That's where we're starting at. Uh, this was running before on the other inverter. So we're gonna see how this works out. Right now I have breaker going to my outlet. This outlet runs down to the wall outlet right here. Now that is supplying the entire house. Common ground, grounded to the entire house. Each one of these is a 20 amp breaker coming in from the panels. Six, uh, 300, or two, two 350 watt panels and four 330 watt panels in series, uh, pairs in series, and then parallel those six, each or those three pairs. So let's see how this does. We're charging right now. It says and the inverter is working. So, we're gonna see how this does now. If we can run the entire house. Okay, so here's the solar update until we move, I guess. Uh, this should be tell you where we're at right now. Um, we're running the whole house off of our three kilowatt uh, must inverter charger uh, we're running off of six batteries right now I will probably get two more batteries maybe not maybe not not until after we move anyways um, washer dryer refrigerator chest freezer uh, two computers my wife works downstairs i work upstairs in my system mine uses a 42 inch tv i vision wise i like to see better uh and um and the tv in the bedroom uh plus fans when we need it plus uh vacuum cleaner runs everything and and we do laundry a lot because we have 12 dogs so um just give you an idea. Now this is just a temporary setup because this is set so that when we do move uh, off grid, this is going to be inside of a tent. Um, I have uh, we have six three meter by three, actually three three meter by three meter tents, two uh, three meter by two meter tents uh, that we're going to be using that we're going to be living in when we get there, when we get to the land. Uh, which will be coming up in the next couple of months, so stay tuned for that. But just to give you an idea what what this costs, the, we'll, um, I'll go through that. I'm going to go upstairs. We're going to go through the price on that. Well, let me get the show you our six panels. Uh, we have two 350 watt and four 330 watt panels, uh, all rated just just really close to each other. So we run each pair in series and then all six in parallel. Uh, and my dogs are going crazy over here. So, um, that's it for now.
please like, subscribe, comment. Uh, I know, I, I know, I know, I'm missing a lot of things here. A lot of uh, breakers, uh, a fuse block, uh, which would be great. But remember, I'm in Peru. Not all of these things are, are, are here. And uh, it's difficult to find a lot of different things. But just to give you that idea. Here you can see the inverter. Really right now. run 103.9 kilowatt hours a little bit less than that actually because there were there were a few kilowatt hours on here but just a, just a little bit uh, run through a breaker goes to an outlet this cable goes to the house system I have chargers connected uh, we run everything on here we have the, the wires coming in the PV wires coming in from those panels uh, goes into here. I can also connect this to the grid if I wanted to, which I'm going to set up so I can do that because we're going to run, be able to charge with the generator at night if we do use all of our power.